Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. What if I guess today is a brand new Division 2 video, and today I want to show you guys this week's vendor reset. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to show you guys everything that I would recommend buying for my build. If it's a PvP build, PvE build, just pretty much anything that's good that's being sold, I will show you guys first. And later on, we'll do a complete overview of all the vendors. So if you are missing a specific gear piece or weapon, hopefully you find it in this reset. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for my videos. And let's get right into this. Alright, so first of all, we are at the White House. The first thing you guys want to check out is this Alps Summit Armament Backpack. This is actually a pretty good backpack for a skill power uh, type of build. Obviously, for the brand set bonuses, you get 10% cooldown reduction, you also get 5% skill power, and you also get 15% hive skill power as well. For the attributes, it comes with 521 skill power, 7% critical hit damage, and for the talents, it comes with skilled, and 20% skill duration. So skill is pretty good, I would say. What it does is skills kills have a 25% chance to reset skill cooldowns, which is pretty good. Uh, the only kind of negative part about that is it requires six or more kind of um, electronic rolls on your gear. So besides that, it's pretty good. And if you're looking for this backpack, definitely check out the White House uh, Avenger right here. The last item I recommend buying is actually this blueprint. This is a Petra of Defense holster blueprint. As I said, and I would recommend buying this if you're making a LMG build, maybe if you want to make a turret skill power build, or you want a lot of cooldown reduction, Petra of Defense is pretty good for that. So again, buy this blueprint, have it on your you know, character. If you want to make a LMG build in the future, you could just craft this and hopefully get a god roll holster that you need for your build. Next up for the Clan Avenger at the White House, unfortunately he didn't reset for me this week, but I will include a kind of different clip from last week's Avenger reset, of the Clan Avenger, he is selling some pretty good things, and if you guys didn't check out that video last week, uh, this week again you have another chance of going to this Avenger and picking up some really nice items. Um, my clan is level 30, so I might be seeing some different gear pieces and weapons than what you might be seeing on your screen, uh, but if your clan is level 30, you should be seeing the same kind of gear and, uh, and weapons as in the video. So again, check out the Clan Avenger, this is what he's selling. Next up, we are stopping by the Clan Avenger, still at the White House, and the first thing you guys want to check out is this Fenris Group AB chest piece. Now, this is obviously for your assault rifles, so if you're making a damage build for ARs, this is something you definitely want to check out. But what it comes with is 5.5% critical hit chance, 12% headshot damage, 3.5% critical hit damage, and then for the talent, it has Unstoppable Force, which is actually really, really good in this patch, and it also has 10% hazard protection. Now obviously you can reroll that and get something like um, Vital for health, maybe something like Damage to Leads, or even something like Harden for the extra armor. So again, a really nice pickup for AR builds. A few spots down, you want to check out this Alps Summit Armament Backpack, and what it comes with is Skill Power and Cooldown Reduction, and then for the talents it has Tech Support and also Destructive. Now this in my opinion is something for a kind of Skill Power build, um, if you're making a Healer build, Whatever the case is, this obviously will give you 10% cooldown reduction for the first kind of bonus. And you also have skill power cooldown reduction for the attributes. And then you also have tech support, which is actually not that bad. The only thing you really have to do is get rid of destructive, get something else, and this will be a decent pickup. Up next, you guys want to check out this Wyvern Wear knee pads. And what they actually come with is 5.5% critical hit chance. And they also have braced. And this is something, again, for console players. Braced is really, really good. It gives you a lot of weapon handling, and it's just really good if you are in cover, if you are struggling to hit your shots with ARs, SMGs, you know, whatever the case is, even LMGs. Braced is really good, and if you guys are looking for this talent, or maybe some kind of decent Wyvern uh, knee pads with critical hit chance, they are once again located at the Clan Avenger. And then the final thing you guys want to check out is actually this chest piece. This is a Overlord Armaments chest piece that is for rifle damage. And what it comes with is 18.5% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, 3.5% headshot damage, and it also has Blood Sucker. Now this is something that's not the best, I would say, in my opinion, um, at least for kind of my gameplay style or whatever. If you can get something like maybe Berserk or maybe something like um, Unstoppable Force, it would be a little bit better, but that's obviously up to you guys, whatever you need this for. Again, this is located at the Clan Venger in the White House. Up next, you guys want to check out the Theater Settlement, and the first thing you guys want to look at are these Murakami Gloves. Now what they come with is 3,123 health, 
and they also come with 5% marksman rifle damage. For the talent, this thing comes with kneecap, and this is something I really wouldn't recommend using on your build. Something like Compensated, in my opinion, is way way better, especially for a marksman rifle build. It's going to give you a little bit more damage, and just overall, it's a better talent for your gloves. So again, pick these things up, find something like Compensated for your gloves, roll that into this, and you will have a really nice pair of Murakami Industries gloves. Now moving down, I would recommend checking out this LMG. Now, don't buy this, well, I mean buy this, but don't use this. The only reason why I would recommend buying this is because of the talent. This thing comes with extra, and you guys know that for LMGs, you either want to use Allegro for the rate of fire or extra. Um, for PvE, I would say extra is a little bit better because you could just spray and have that much more bullets. Um, so again, if you're making a LMG build, if you're missing a secondary talent, this thing is something, um, again, that you might want to look at it comes with extra and like i said it's pretty good now the final thing is this blueprint this is actually a tactical mk16 replica blueprint and this is obviously a also rifle if you guys are missing one for pve or pvp you can check this one out it's pretty good it's not the best weapon i would say but if you are uh, just reaching you know world tier 4 world tier 5 you want to buy a pretty decent ar for your pve build or pvp build this is something you might check out. Obviously, the P416 is way, way better in the game. But if you can't get lucky, if you want to have something, again, decent, this thing is being sold at the theater settlement. The campus settlement is next to my list, and the one thing you want to check out from him is actually this chess piece. This is a Fenris Group AB chess piece that's obviously going to give you AR damage, protection from elites, and health on kill. But the reason why I would recommend buying this one is because, one, for the attributes, this does not have a red attribute. It comes with bonus armor, skill power, and health. And if you guys are making a 377 build, if you guys don't know, that's pretty much like the new kind of quote unquote meta going on. The 377, really, really good for PvP or PvE. So it doesn't have a red attribute, which is a plus. And also for the talents, it's pretty good. It comes with two talents it has payload and hard hitting. So reroll payload and get something like um, Unstoppable Force or something like Berserk. And that's going to be a really good replacement. And all, like obviously hard hitting for PvE, that's something you want. You want damage to lead. So overall, this will be a really good chess piece for either the Dark Zone or just PvE in general. Because it, it does come with hard hitting. Um, and you can obviously, again, reroll payload, get something else, and you know that's that. It also comes with a defensive protocol mod slot, which is really good if you're reaching the uh, kind of 7 or 8 or 9 threshold on the defensive attributes. So overall, really good chess piece for ARs. If you guys are interested, check out the settlement. Getting straight into the DZ, the first person you guys want to stop by is DZ South. And the one thing I would recommend buying from him is actually this Gilgard backpack. This thing comes with 15,579 bonus armor, 1.5% weapon damage, 2.5% critical hit chance, which is pretty good. Um, it's not the best attributes, I would say. But for the talents, it does come with On the Ropes and Hardened. And On the Ropes, um, as I said previously, really, really good. It's pretty much like the quote-unquote meta going on with a 377 build. And you guys can use this for LMGs, ARs, um, rifles, just pretty much anything On the Ropes is really, really good for the weapon damage. Uh, pretty much weapon damage is increased by 25% while all skills are on cooldown. And it also has Hardened, which is 10% armor. And armor is pretty good, I would say. Um, especially if you paired this up with like Unstoppable Force. Um, so just overall really good uh, kind of pickup. You can reroll Harden, go for like damage to leads if you're going to use this for PvE. Um, but again, that's really up to you. So if you're missing just on ropes or a good Gila Guard backpack, definitely check out the DZ South Avenger. Alright, the final person I recommend checking out is the DZ East Avenger. And the one thing you want to check out from him is actually this M700 Carbon. Now the base damage on this thing is 76.2k, pretty good. Not the highest thing, not the lowest thing. But for the talents, what it comes with is Ignited, Accurate, and Zen. Now if you do pick up this weapon, I would reroll uh, Ignited to get something like Ranger or Optimist. And this thing overall will be pretty good for a kind of damage build. Um, it already has Accuracy, which is pretty important on sniper rifles. Zen, pretty good I would say, not a must on your build, but um, you know, it's, it's pretty good. So overall, Pretty good sniper rifle, obviously it's not the highest base damage sniper rifle in the game. Um, if you want to go for like a one shot build, you want to use something a little bit different, but if you just want a secondary sniper rifle to, uh, you know, do the kind of dirty work from a distance, pick this thing up, get Ranger or Optimist as I said, and this will be a pretty nice pickup. 
Um, so yeah, this is pretty much everything that I would recommend buying from this week's Vendor Reset. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, also let me know in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos. And here is a complete overview of all the Avengers this week. Hello, Agent. Pleasure to see you. Do you want some? Ready to make a deal? Hello there. Want to make a deal?